Today, we are going to explore the artistic concept of positive and negative space. In any piece of art, the picture can only have meaning when the shapes are seen in relationship to each other. Let's look at this image, Base Positive Negative Space by Rubens. What do you see in this image? Do you see a vase? Or do you see two faces? If you focus on the left picture, you see that the white space, the positive space, is two faces in profile. But with the same picture on the right, you can see that the white space is now a vase in the center. This is an optical illusion created by playing on positive and negative spaces. Depending on your focus, you see either the two faces in profile or the vase in the center. Many artists play with this positive and negative space dynamic. Today, we are going to focus on one artist that loved to use this technique to create impossible constructions, Mr. M. C. Escher. He was a Dutch artist born in 1898. He was a graphic artist who used many different mediums, including wood carvings and lithographs, to create these impossible constructions. He was fascinated by geographic designs and used them in his art. His art focused on mathematical concepts like infinity, reflection, and symmetry. With regards to negative and positive space, he loved to flip them in his drawings. In our example here titled, Sky and Water One, you can see how the top has a dark image of a duck as the main focus. This is the negative space. As your eyes travel lower into the painting, notice the duck fades away to be replaced by the white image of that of the fish at the bottom. The fish is in the positive space. The negative and positive spaces have flipped in focus to create this optical illusion. The central lines between the images show how tightly the negative and positive spaces exist in a drawing by having both the duck and the fish meeting together seamlessly during this transition. Today, we are going to make our own piece of art that uses this positive and negative space dynamic. 